You're watching Tag TV. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surbhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 5th of December. Indian Foreign Minister holds talk with UAE leadership in Abu Dhabi. US Special Envoy calls on Pakistan to support Afghan peace. And anti-Pakistan protests erupt in Gilgit, Pakistan, Pakistan administered Kashmir. And now for all the details, Indian Foreign Minister Sushma Saraj held talks with the Emirati counterpart in Abu Dhabi on Tuesday to boost strategic ties. Both the sides later signed a currency swap agreement to boost investment and enable direct trade without using dollars or other international currencies. Indian Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj met her Emirati counterpart Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan on Tuesday and co-chaired the 12th session of the India-UAE Joint Commission meeting in Abu Dhabi. Both the leaders held discussions on cooperation in energy, security, trade, investments, later defence and counsellor among others. They later signed a currency swap agreement to boost investment and enable direct trade without using dollars or other international currencies. The bilateral currency swap agreement is expected to reduce the dependency on hard currency like the US dollar and two central banks had agreed to the deal. Earlier in the day, Swaraj called on Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and expressed satisfaction over the pace of bilateral relations. Bilateral trade between India and UAE stood at around 52 billion US dollars in 2017 according to the figures from the Indian embassy in the UAE. In news from Pakistan, US special envoy Zalmay Khalilzad in his multinational tour for Afghan peace visited Pakistan on Tuesday. He met Pakistan's foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and talked about the Afghan peace process to end the war with Taliban in Afghanistan. U.S. Special Envoy for Peace in Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, met with Pakistani Foreign Minister on Tuesday, a day after U.S. asked Pakistan to support the Afghan peace process. Local media reported that Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi assured Khalilzad that Pakistan would give steadfast support for a negotiated settlement with the Taliban to end the long war in Afghanistan. The visit came a day after officials confirmed that U.S. President Donald Trump had personally written to Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan seeking help in moving peace talks forward. Pakistan's Foreign Ministry on Monday said Trump in the letter stated that his most important regional priority was achieving a negotiated settlement of the Afghan war. Officially allies in fighting terrorism, Pakistan and the United States have a complicated relationship. Relations between both the nations frayed after the U.S. earlier this year cut all security assistance to Pakistan over Islamabad's failure to fight militancy in the region. Moving on, massive anti-Pakistan protests broke out in illegally occupied territories of Gilgit, Baltistan and Pakistan administered Kashmir on Tuesday. Thousands of protesters gathered to express their anger against the Pakistani government and demanded their fundamental and constitutional rights. Unprecedented scenes of anti-Pakistan sentiment swept across the illegally occupied regions of Pakistan-administered Kashmir and Gilgit Baldistan on Tuesday where thousands of people gathered to protest the seven-decade-long misrule and subjugation of Islamabad. While expressing anger over the plundering of their land and resources, people demanded an absolute freedom from the clutches of Pakistan. The protest leaders urged the protesters to ramp up their peaceful campaign, citing that Pakistan will soon have the authority over all their prerogatives with locals reeling under abject poverty and deprivity. 
यहाँ तो बेसिक राइट नहीं मिल रहे हैं हमें कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट नहीं मिल रहे हैं हमें डिफरेंट जितने भी राइट है वो हमें नहीं मिल रहे हैं यहाँ पे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट नहीं मिल रहे हैं हर चीज हमें नहीं मिल रही और बिजली पानी का सख्त यहाँ पे बहरान है और जितने भी वी वी आई पी जहाँ पे यहाँ पे मीर है वहाँ पे जितने भी हाई कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पे जितने भी हाई सिटों पे यहाँ पे लोग हैं उनके लिए सारी चीजें अवेलेबल है Locals blame the illegally occupied territories continue to suffer a step motherly treatment and it is part of Islamabad's agenda to keep them underdeveloped. People demanding their rights are more than often subjected to inhuman treatment and their voices are muzzled with brute force. In news from Afghanistan, clashes in Afghan capital Kabul ended on Tuesday after police arrested the man whose house was under siege by government forces for at least 20 hours. The clashes which also killed one police personnel broke as security forces wanted to vacate the house on a court order but guards inside the house opposed. Standoff in Afghanistan's capital Kabul ended on Tuesday after police arrested a man named Tamim Shan Sab whose house was under siege by government forces for at least 20 hours the Afghan Interior Ministry confirmed. The ministry said 18 security guards of Shansab were also arrested by the government forces and assured that the situation in Kabul's Shar-e Nau area is under control now. The clashes between police forces and Shansab started on Monday after the security forces wanted to empty a house from Shansab on a court order but guards inside the house opposed. Afghan Interior Ministry earlier informed Shansab's guards were equipped with heavy weapons and they were insisting until the house that they were in not registered to their name they will resist and will not stop clash with security forces. Initially when the clash started the ministry confirmed that one policeman was killed and six other were wounded in the incident. Moving on to news from Sri Lanka Sri Lanka's topple premier Ranil Wickremesinghe on Tuesday demanded to be reinstated while liking president Maithripala Srisena to Hitler. The island nation is witnessing a political crisis since president Maithripala Srisena sacked prime minister Ranil Wickremesinghe and installed Rajapaksa in his place on October 26th. Sri Lanka's ousted premier Ranil Wickremesinghe likened president Maithripala Srisena to Hitler on Tuesday. as he demanded to be reinstated almost 6 weeks into paralyzing political crisis in the country wickremesinghe the leader of majority united national party or unp said president should respect the sovereignty of the people and act according to the constitution the island nation is witnessing a political crisis since october 26th when the president sirisena sacked wickremesinghe and replaced him with former president mahinda rajapaksa however with wickremesinghe supporters still controlling a majority in parliament which has witnessed brawls between lawmakers in recent weeks rajapaksa has lost two votes of confidence on monday the court appeal denied rajapaksa the authority to act as prime minister and stripped his cabinet of powers giving rajapaksa until december 12 to prove his legitimacy and that of his government the supreme court is also expected to rule this week whether siri sena's decision to dissolve parliament in november a move already suspended by court was constitutional A dog show was recently organized in Vadodara city of India's western Gujarat province in which around 160 canines of different breeds participated with their owners. The event was aimed at educating the dog lovers about loyalty, strength and other characteristic features of the animal. At least 160 canines of different breeds enthralled pet lovers during a dog show organized recently in Vadodara city of India's western Gujarat province. The Gujarat Kennel Club organized the event where the dogs wearing caps, jackets and other colorful clothes caught eye of the canine lovers. During the event the visitors got a first hand look at rare breeds that require special care and attention. The attraction of the show were German Shepherd, Pugs, Labrador, Bulldog and Doberman. Isme bahut sare 8 ya 9 group hai jaise Labrador hai, Boxer hai, German Shepherd hai, 
ग्रेडन है तो उस टाइप के सभी डॉग यहाँ पे शामिल हैं पूरे इंडिया से लेके देखो पंजाब से लेके दिल्ली है गुजरात के बहुत सारे हैं महाराष्ट्र है महाराष्ट्र में पुणे बॉम्बे से है फिर साउथ से है वेस्ट बंगाल से है ये पूरे जगह से यहाँ पे डॉग शो डॉग शो करने के लिए सभी यहाँ पे आए हुए हैं डॉग अपने स्टैंडर्ड के हिसाब से अच्छा होना चाहिए मूवर अच्छा होना चाहिए बॉडी टाइप अच्छा होना चाहिए और वो टेल टू हेड सब कुछ बिल्कुल प्रॉपर जो स्टैंडर्ड बोलता है वैसा होना चाहिए During the event a special desk was also set up for educating the dog lovers about loyalty strength and other features of the animal In a unique way of worshiping the goddess scores of Hindu devotees in India southern city of Coimbatore took part in a festival on Tuesday where they whipped themselves inflicting pain on their bodies The 300 year old ritual of self flagellation is carried out by villagers to appease goddess Adaikala Amman Scores of devotees on Tuesday participated in a unique ritual of worship in India's southern Coimbatore city where they whipped themselves as part of paying obeisance to Hindu goddess Araikala Amman. The 300-year-old ritual of self-flagellation is carried out by Hindu villagers living on the outskirts of the city during the end of Tamil month to worship goddess Araikala Amman, a form of goddess of time, change, power and destruction. Kali The women also took part in the festival by walking in the procession but the self flagellation was carried out only by men and young boys Adiglaman Adiglaman thiruvula idu varsha varsha kartika masam indha vila nadakkum indha devam vande Tanjavur lende 300 varsha munadi inga vandhadhu adhu romba romba serappa kondaiterukkom idhukku oru 400 kudumbangal irukke ella urlim irukanga எல்லாருமே வந்து எட்டு நாள் வந்து விரதம் இருந்து அந்த பத்தி மருந்து எட்டு நாளுமே சாட்டை அடிச்சு ஆடிட்டு இருந்தாங்க எட்டு எப்படி ஆடினாலும் சரி எந்த காய் ஆனாலும் எந்த மருந்தோ எதுவுமே வைக்க மாட்டோம் வெறும் திருநூறு வச்சா போதும் அடுத்த நாளே எல்லாரும் வேலைக்கு போவாங்க During the festival the devotees cover a distance of at least 2 miles whipping themselves and dancing to the tunes of religious songs A baby football league has been organized in Baramulla district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province to nurture talent at the grassroots level and provide a platform to the children below the age of 13 years to learn football skills and gain knowledge of the game. With an objective of promoting football as the grassroots level, a baby football league has been organized by the All India Football Federation or AIFF in Baramulla district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province. More than 198 girls and boys are taking part in the baby league which is being directly monitored by the AIFF nurturing talent at the school level. The initiative is aimed at providing a platform to the children below the age of 13 years to learn football skills and gain basic knowledge of the game. Yeh hamare school mein pehli baar ho raha hai jisse bahut sare bachche attract ho rahe hain football ki taraf apni physical activities ko dikha rahe hain apni physical fitness ko dikha rahe hain bahut sare bachchon ko mauka mil raha hai apna apne talent ko dikhane ka apne talent ko show karne ka bahut sare bachche aise bhi the jinko football khelna aata tha lekin wo dikha nahi pa dete aur ye baby league ki wajah se wo ab apne talent ko express kar sakte hain apne talent ko show kar sakte hain baby league ka jo main maqsad yahi hai ki jo 4 saal se 13 saal ki umar ke bachche hain unko ek platform provide ho grassroots level पे क्योंकि अगर हम देखा जाए यूरोपियन कंट्रीज फार बेटर है एशियन कंट्रीज से फुटबॉल के टर्म्स पे तो तब यही स्ट्रैटेजाइज किया गया कि पहले फुटबॉल का एक नॉलेज जो बच्चों में एक इंटरेस्ट है वो पैदा होना चाहिए और इसी के लिए ये जो बेबी लीग है इसका इनका किया गया The interest for football has increased among the youngsters in the valley after a local football club Real Kashmir FC became the first ever football team from the province to play the I League a top division league in the country. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again Indian foreign minister holds talk with UAE leadership in Abu Dhabi US special envoy calls on Pakistan to support Afghan peace and anti pakistan protests to erupt in gilgit baltistan pakistan administered kashmir
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.